Okay guys, I welcome you all to my channel Engineers TV. Do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that determine the smallest force F that must be applied along the rope in order to cause the curved rod which has a radius of 5 feet to fade at the support C. This requires a moment of M 8 pound feet to be developed at C. So we are given the magnitude of the moment that is developed by this force or tension in this E B rope. So we are given the magnitude of that moment about point C which is equal to 80 pound feet. So first of all we have to find the Cartesian vector representation of that moment about point C due to that force F. So, we can find that Cartesian vector by taking the cross product of the moment arm with the force vector. So, now we can define our moment arm for this force F from C to A. We can take this as our moment arm or we can take this as our moment arm. So, if we take this as our moment arm, we can find it very easily without doing any calculation. Uh, without using calculator, so we can say that this is our moment arm from C to A. So we can write that this is from C to A. So first of all, we have to find the Cartesian vector re representation of the position vector from C to A and that force F. So we can write that the car that the position vector from C to A can be determined if we move along x, y, and z from C to reach that point B. So from C we need to travel 5 feet in the negative z that is in the negative k. So I will write minus 5k and then once we reach here we need to travel from here to here along the positive y direction that is 7 feet in the positive y. So that is plus 7j and then once we reach here we have to travel 6 feet in the positive x. So I will write plus 6 in the positive x means that in the positive i direction. So this is the moment arm from C to A. Now we have to find the force vector, Cartesian vector representation of that force F in A B rope. So that would be equal to its magnitude times the unit vector from A to B. So the unit vector from E to B. In this problem, we are asked to find the smallest force F. So we have to find the force magnitude when the moment is 80 pound feet. So we are considering that the moment, the force magnitude is not given. We have to find that magnitude of that force F. So we, we, we can say that this force F and the unit vector from A to B is always the position vector from A to B divided by its magnitude. So, so now we can write that F Cartesian vector, this is F and now the position vector from A to B. So we can write that the position vector from A to B. Again to find the position vector from A to B we need to travel from A along X, Y and Z to reach that point B. So from A we need to travel this distance in the negative X and this distance from here to here this distance is if the radius is 5 feet and it is making 60 degrees then and then this this distance is 5 cos of 60. So I will write that this is 5 cos of 60. So 5 cos of 60. So 2.5 feet in the negative z direction. So we will write that uh, 2.5 feet in the negative k direction. Now once I reach here I have to travel this distance, so this distance is this 7 feet minus this distance. So this is 7 minus, this distance will be 5 sine of 60, so 7 minus 5 sine of 60, so 7 minus 5 sine of 60, this gives me 2.67 feet. So this is 2.67 feet. So we have to travel 2.67 feet in the positive y that is in the positive j. So plus 2.67 in the positive j and then once we reach here we have to travel this distance the 6 feet distance in the positive x. So 6 distance in the positive i. So this is the position vector from a to b. Now we have to find its magnitude. Let me write that position vector here. 
So this is six i plus two point six seven j minus two point five k. So now uh, we can find its magnitude, the magnitude of this position vector from A to B. This will be equal to uh, 6 square plus 2.67 square plus 2.5 square under the square root. This is 6 square plus 2.67 square plus 2.5 square and this gives me 7.03 approximately. So this is 7.03. Zero three. So this is seven point zero three. So now we can write this as F and six divided by we will divide each component uh, by seven point zero three. So now six, let me write it like this one divided by seven point zero three multiply by six. So this is 0 0.853, 0 0.853i plus 2.67 divided by 7.03. This is 2.67 divided by 7.03. So this is 0 0.38, 0 0.380j minus 2.5 divided by that. So multiply by 2.5. So this gives me 0 0.356. 0.356 k. So now, if I multiply this force, uh, this magnitude inside, so we will have 0.853 f into i plus 0.380 f into j. 0.356 f k. So now we have to find this determinant, and this determinant is. is i j and k and this will be the the components of the position vector from c to a so that is plus 6 plus 7 and minus 5 and now the components of the force so this is 0 0.853 f 0 0.380 f and minus 0 0.356 f now, if I if we can take f common from this row, so we can write this that is f into this. So now we have to find the determinant of this. So we can write it like this, and then we will consider this as plus i, this is minus j and plus k. So this will be. This is plus i into 7 into this 7 in multiply by minus 0 0.356. It's plus i into 7 into minus 0 0.356 minus minus 5 into 0 0.380. Then we have to hide this, and then that will be minus j. Minus j, and this is this is six, right? So minus this is six into this. Six into minus zero point three five six, and then minus minus five into zero point eight five three. And then plus k the determinant of this. So this is plus k six into zero point three eight zero and then minus this seven into this so seven into zero point eight five three. This is multiplied by k like this. This is and all these terms are multiplied by that force f magnitude. So now we can find all these by using calculator, but I am going to use that Excel sheet which I have made for myself.
So I will find the determinant, this determinant, right? So this is 6, 7 and minus 5, 0 0.853, 0 0.380 and minus 0 0.356. This gives me uh, minus, uh, minus 0 0.59 i. So this is, let me write this as minus, this, this will be multiplied with f. This whole determinant is multiplied with f. So that is minus 0 0.59 i and then uh, this gives us minus 2.13 j. So minus 2.13 j and then it is minus 3.69 k minus So this is the determinant, right? So now uh, th this is the moment, uh, vec the Cartesian vector representation of that moment about point C. Now we have to find this force magnitude and we are given the magnitude of the moment about point C. So we have to find the magnitude of this. So now we can write this as if I multiply this 5 inside, so that is minus 0 0.59 fi minus 2.13 f j minus 3.69 f k. So now the magnitude of this moment about point c, this will be equal to minus 0 0.59 f square and if we take square the minus plus doesn't matter. So let me write it as 0 0.59 now plus 2.13 f square plus 3.69 f square and then under the square root. Now we can write all these terms like this. So that is 0 0.59 square. This will be the uh, 2.13 square into f square and then 3.69 in 3.69 square into f square. And now we can take this f square common from these three terms. So we will have the equation like this. And now we can write this f outside of the square root. So this whole thing is multiplied with f. And this magnitude is given in the problem statement that is 80 pound feet. So this is equal to 80 pound feet. So now we, we have to find this uh, magnitude that is square root 0 0.59 square plus 2.13 square plus 3.69 square and this gives me 4.30. So that is 4.30 into f equals to 80 and f is equal to 80 divided by 4.30. So now 80 divided by 4.30. So this gives us 18.60. So that, that minimum force is, that's my less force is 18.60 pounds. So if the magnitude of this force F is 18.60, so we will have, uh, that will produce a moment about point C equals to 80 pound feet and which must be applied along the rope in order to cause the curved rod to fail. Right, so this is that force of magnitude 18.60 pounds. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. If this helps in your learning, do subscribe Engineers Academy.